So today is new bike day. And that is my new bike. It is a 2020 Gorilla Gravity Narvana. I'm happy to announce that for 2021, I've signed with Gorilla Gravity and I will be a brand ambassador for them. I found out about Gorilla Gravity through Pink Bike almost a year ago. And when COVID hit, you know, we were really backed up with bike orders and components. I started looking into companies that manufacture here in the US to see if that would help a little bit with some of the delivery issues that all of us mountain bikers were plagued with. And come to find out, Gorilla Gravity makes their frames, this frame right here, in Denver, Colorado. If you know anything about Gorilla Gravity, you know that they run the modular platform. So the front triangle, they've got sizes one through four, and the front triangle is the same on every single model. They change this rear seat stay here, and that gives you the different type of bikes. Swap the shock out, lower or extend the fork, and you've got uh, like five total different models. So I just climbed in the back gate of Rockville. It's a climb I've done many times before. And so it's a good way to compare the GG Nirvana to my old bike, the Mega Tower. When you sit on the GG, it's immediately obvious that it's much longer. You know, the reach is about 500 compared to the Mega, which was like 490, 495. Um, the chain stays five mil longer. That's pretty similar. Um, but the head tube is about a degree, a degree and a half, depending on how you're comparing the Geo. 63.7 on the GG versus 65 on the Mega. I did have it raked at 170, so it was about like 64 and a half. So almost a degree slacker, and it's immediately noticeable. The bike feels longer, it feels slacker. Oh yeah. Woo. That slack head tube angle is so noticeable. Once you get in a steep chunk, it really opens up. Oh yeah, she wants to eat. Little jib here, nice. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh man, the length of the bike is so apparent when you start going fast. The head tube angle, it's perfect. It just eats and eats. Wow. It is a little bit harder to maneuver in those tight little turns, but I struggle with that even on the mega sometimes so I'm not too concerned about that that's something I'll just get used to directly into a headwind, not fun.
been so hero dirt lately. <laughs> Riding on loose stuff again, it's like, whoa. Do you have traction? Do you not? Whew. Felt pretty good though. Faster than I needed to be. Slow, smooth, precise. Where it should be. So we'll see how Strava compares. I think that headwind up top really, really hurt me. Also, I seem to have something going on with my chain and cassette meshing. So I think it might be time for a new cassette. We will see. You're bound to be plagued by issues when you have a newly built bike just because things change, whatever the case may be. I seem to have too much bead tension and bead tension is supposed to be set under sag. Well, I pretty much built this bike by myself with the help of Parker. That seems like too much now. Yep, see that's too much. So I'm gonna go back half a turn, but could just be cassette issues meshing with the chain. I mean, I'm definitely due for a cassette here soon. So we'll see, but that was too much. Shifted well with my body weight on it. So I'll just go back half a turn, see how that works. So hard to say because I need to sit on it really and get the tool in there and see, but this will get me by for now. Shout out to One Up, they make a sick tool pump combo. I've used this thing so many times that the rubber strap on the tool holder has broken, but you don't really need that. The tool stays in there just fine. Got it mounted right here, next to the bottle. You forget about it, honestly. It's a sick little tool. Giving the bike the shakedown today. I built it up over the last three or four days, just before work. Uh, I did have some help from Parker, but I pretty much built the bike by myself. I was plagued by a few issues here and there with uh, just stripping down my old bike stripped bolts, broken things, new housings, you know, standard bike build stuff. Um, but I'm happy to be here today. I'm riding it for the first time out at my home trails, which is Rockville. It's a great place for me to gauge how this bike performs in comparison to my Mega. All right, this is where it gets fun. Rockville downhill. You can hear a cassette jumping all over the place. Ooh, it's rowdy. Yes. Careful this flat corner here. Chunk. Oh gosh, Spike loves it. 
stay tight left. Or chunk. Pick a line. Try to be inside. Tuck it. Yes. Oh my gosh. So stable. It's ridiculous how stable this bike is at high speeds. All right. Little breather. But let's go. All the way to the street. This is a good little enduro segment. Little pedal in the middle when you're tired. Nice. Manual. All the way out. You. Real gravity Nirvana. Man, this bike really likes going fast on the downhill. Steep, chunky. It just eat wow i'm really curious to see how this bike does as i put it through the paces on <sighs> wednesday and saturday got a few rides lined up some chunk some jumps some flow and this bike's gonna love it i can already tell